What's up everybody, it's me Denshi, back at it again with a video where the sun is staring right into my eyes. Today's video is one of these Friday videos where I talk about a serious topic. And the serious topic this time is artificial intelligence and its implications on human creativity. So I'm going to be reading an article that I wrote that's available in the description. You can uh, just click on the link in the description if you want to read along. There's also a link at the bottom of the article where you can reply to the article and write me an email about what you feel. Um, and of course, feel free to reply to this video in the comments, both on YouTube, Odyssey, and wherever else it's posted. There is no doubt in my mind that the final goal of all artificial intelligence, whether its developers know it or not, is to resemble God. The definition of God, whether you believe in him or not, is the exalted creator of all things, creator of the universe, creator of humanity, and creator of all that was and ever will be. Artificial intelligence is a man-made mathematical model for creating our own reality. An era of humanity is fast approaching where, even without invocation, artificial intelligence will be able to create entire new realities for us. This has already started, albeit in the bounded realm of creating fiction. AI can already create art, such as illustrations, books, and to some extent films and movies. And the natural evolution from here will be AI capable of creating interactive art, like computer games and VR experiences. But this is not mere fiction. These, you know, these fictional things, movies, illustrations, this isn't mere fiction to people. So now I'm gonna talk about the intense danger of fiction. There is presently an era of infatuation with media. Whether in the subtle form of discussions about your favorite TV shows at work, or in the increasingly less exotic case of mass paraphernalia collectors, there has been never a time in human history where we were so surrounded by our own fictitious realities. It's seen in children who are wasting increasing amounts of their youth playing video games and, you know, movies and TV shows and YouTube as well, ensuring they remain hooked on fiction for life. Now that humans allowed our reality to be dominated by fiction, the mass adoption of virtual reality is the next and final step. Do not be mistaken. Virtual reality is not a misnomer. This is the perfect storm for AI to become just like God. How is this possible? Well, through invasive practices driven mostly by matters of money and security, unknowably large amounts of information on the current human condition has been collected. No, I'm not referring to the vast art, film, and book archives now accessible through the internet. These alone are, these alone are used to train AI that is invoked and controlled by humans. Instead, I'm talking about the recent phenomenon of data collection on almost all internet users. It is perfectly realistic to suppose that, given enough information, AI will be trained to create any fictional world an individual desires without invocation. Consider the following. You're a regular YouTube user who lets the website track your watch and search history. We know that, using this information, an AI recommendation algorithm picks which videos to display. Now suppose that this recommendation algorithm was set up to feed the information about the user's preferences to a second AI capable of creating videos. You will be recommended videos created on the spot for you. This is a social media website's dream, a perfect feedback loop. Users consume, the recommendation system learns their preferences, the video generator creates new videos, and they continue to consume. It's a cycle. Imagine the power of a social media that gives you exactly what you want, whenever you want it. Now let's talk about AI as God. How long do you think it would take for human beings to adjust? Some would fight against it initially, both for ethical and pragmatic reasons. No AI is perfect in the beginning, right? But as the system gathers more data on what, why, and how users consume, it will become near perfect. Soon, generations will grow up familiar with this system, extremely similar to the existing paradigm of social media websites, but with the added twist that nothing is user-generated. To those who think that AI won't be capable of creativity to the same degree of humans, simply observe the eerily uncanny accuracy of current AI image systems. Once you see the enormous sums of money being poured into AI, it doesn't take long to connect the dots and come to the conclusion that it can and will replace art. To those who think humans attribute creation to the artist, or will simply reject works based off whether they're made by humans or not, let me remind you that this position will only be held by hipsters in the future. The creative process could, with little resistance, be relegated to hobby status once AI proves to be far more efficient and personalized. 
Soon, such a feedback loop will be applied to other systems. These include other forms of art, which are things like illustration, films, writing, news, and music, and even interactive experiences like video games, like mentioned before. While social media is already influential enough to constitute people's existence of the world, like people's experience is viewed through social media, is what I'm saying, there is a distinct possibility of AI being employed to create experiences in virtual reality. Once again, given enough user data collection and advancements in headset technologies, an AI could create a near visceral experience of what the consumer wants to experience. And I don't need to tell you that that's an incredibly scary thought. God is creation, not just in the sense of everything that is and was, but also in everything that ever will be. This brave new world of AI will be its own reality. Why will people continue to normally interact in real life beyond their physiological needs when the escape that an AI world offers is near perfect? Given the amount of information that AI can take in, it should surprise no one that these systems will surpass the creative capabilities of humans. It's simply a matter of time. So before I end this video, I wanted to add one note. It's very likely that these AI systems that create media, so let me adjust the camera, so it's a little bit better frame, uh, but it's very likely that these AI systems will begin to be adopted more by very consumer-esque people, like sort of, I guess the correct word is like bug men, like people who uh, are always on the latest thing, you know, like the first people to get smartphones, the first people to get that, like that, that'll be the demographic at the beginning, the target demographic. Um, and in the future, they'll be like social media is now where people literally become addicted to things like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Uh, and instead of, you know, living life through the lens of reality, they live it through the lens of the phone. And that same thing will happen, but you, almost the entirety of your reality will be replaced by the VR. Just as we're seeing that social media is being more normalized in society, as time goes on, more and more people consider it normal to be addicted to that sort of thing. Uh, the same thing will happen with whether it's VR, whether it's AI, social media, whatever, I'm, you know, whatever you want to imagine AI could be used for to create content. Um, this will become normalized in the future. But I'm just, I, I just want to note that in the beginning, it will seriously affect people who um, are early adopters. So if you're somebody who's like big into early technologies, this is probably going to hit you first. Um, and the whiplash will be unknowable.